हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू स्टेट इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन सेक्शन ऑफ विंड्स ऑफ चेंज वी विल कवर सो मेनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टॉपिक हेयर फ्रॉम एक्सपर्ट आई ई एस यू मे कॉन्टैक्ट एस एट विंड्स ऑफ चेंज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम एंड फॉर द स्टडी मटेरियल यू कैन डाउनलोड फ्रॉम द लिंक गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल टू स्टे अपडेटेड फॉर मोर वीडियोज यू मे लाइक दिस वीडियोज इफ यू फील यूजफुल फॉर यू एंड कमेंट फॉर एनी फीडबैक This is the first video in the sequence of 225 questions of building material and construction. In this we will discuss question number 1 to 25. In the other forthcoming videos we will discuss question number 26 to 225. Now without further delay let's start the first question that is match list 1 with list 2 that is cement and their characteristic and select the correct answer using the codes given below the list. In the first list we are having four cement that is high alumina cement blast furnace cement quick setting cement and rapid hardening cement these are fourth kind of four kind of cement and the list second the characteristic are high early strength gypsum free cement selenitic cement used in mass concrete work and used in chemical factories and mines okay and there are four codes given below for this sequence first of all for high alumina cement which kind of cement we will use just think about it for high alumina cements are of the nature of sulfate resisting so it can be used in the chemical factories and mines okay blast furnace slag blast furnace slag are having less amount of c3s and more amount of c2s these are of the nature that is they can be used for mass concrete work so it will be used in mass concrete work okay and this quick setting cement quick setting cements should have a retarder of least percentage so the quick setting cement should be gypsum free because gypsum is a retarder and rapid hardening cement rapid hardening cement are used for higher lay strength okay because c3h content is more in it and c2s content is less and the 3 day 3 days strength of rapid hardening cement is about equal to 7 days strength of ordinary portland cement so the correct sequence here will be option a that is 5 4 2 1 okay next question second question for ornamental work which type of bricks is preferred silica brick silica lime brick brick produced in autoclaves so for ornamental work that is for decorative purpose the types of brick which will be used are option b that is 2 and 3 that is silica lime brick and bricks produced in autoclaves silica bricks we cannot used for ornamental work okay now the third question is consider the following statement regarding the phenomena of bulking of sand it is due to the film of water around the sand particles yes this is correct statement it is due to surface tension if the film of water is around sand particle then obviously the surface tension will be exerted it is more in finer sand yes it will be more in finer sand we have already seen that in the coarse aggregate it does not happen but in the finer sand it may occur so the phenomena of bulking of sand the correct answer will be a that is 1 2 and 3 option all these are correct statement okay Fourth question consider the following statement for bricks in comparison to stones and which of these statement are correct brick work will have high water tight tightness brick work is preferred for monument structure bricks resist fire better than stone and bricks of good quality shall have thin mortar bond so the correct answer here will be 3 and 4 statement first statement brick work will have high water tightness it is not correct answer because the stones will be having high water tightness in the monument structure obviously the stone are preferred because of their higher strength and bricks resist fire better than stone this is the correct because bricks are having more fire resistant property in it bricks of good quality shall have length less thin mortar bond this is also correct okay fifth question in stone masonry stones that is stratified rocks are placed so that the direction of pressure to the plane of bedding is so this direction of angle will be at right angle the direct this is the direction of angle of pressure to the plane of the bedding okay pressure will be applied at right angle to the plane of the bedding in the sixth question consider the following with regard to the application of preservation of timber in this statement which are correct we have to find out the preservation of timber increase the life span of member obviously because it will preserve it increasing the strength of timber it is it has no application in increasing the strength of timber because these are the these are just the preservative okay these are not the seasoning process in which the sap is being removed 
removal of moisture this process is called seasoning and prevention of growth of fungi this will obviously prevent the growth of fungi that is why the preservation is done so the answer here will be option c that is one and four only okay that is increase the lifespan of the member and prevention of growth growth of fungi seventh question consider the following statement regarding timber the strength of timber increases by kiln seasoning yes it is a correct statement and cutting of wood is to be done prior to the treatment obviously cutting of wood is done before treatment process and water seasoning is good for good for prevention of warping yes water seasoning is good for this purpose and last statement sq treatment enhances the strength of wood since sq treatment is a preservation method so it has nothing to do with the strength of wood so the answer will, will become one two and three all the th all these three statements are correct but this sq treatment statement is not correct okay eighth question consider the following test transfer strength test water absorption test impact test and breaking strength test which of the above are relevant to testing of tiles so in the testing of tiles all these tests are being performed that is transfer strength test for checking the transfer strength of the tiles water absorption to check how much water can be absorbed by the tiles impact test for the toughness and breaking strength to determine the strength of the tiles so all these four are being recommended Ninth question, which method of curing of concrete is recommended for rapid gain of strength of concrete? So sprinkling water, membrane curing, high pressure steam curing and infrared radiation curing. All these four are the method of curing in which the most suitable will be high pressure steam curing. Okay, because it will be used for rapid gain of strength of concrete. Okay. Tenth question. Consider the following method of preservation of timber, dipping, brushing and spraying, pressure impregnation. The correct sequence in decreasing order of effectiveness of these method of preservation is. In this, the correct math, correct sequence will be C, that is 3, 1, 2. First of all, the pressure impregnation, this will be the most favorable method because in this pressure impregnation is being done at the pressure. Okay, so it will be uh, applied at a uniform rate to the timber so that it can enter into the wood into the pores of the wood second it will be dipping because it is dipped so all uh, from all the sides these are being applied to the timber and the last one that is least effective will be brushing and spraying because it is totally manual method so option is 312 11th question consider the following statement and which of these are correct okay Test on cement paste to determine initial and final setting time are done at normal consistency condition. Low heat cement has high percentage of trigalcium element and high early strength Portland cement contains a larger percentage of C3S and a lower percentage of C2S. So here the option correct will be 1 and 3 will be the correct statement. Second will not be a correct statement because low heat cement should not have trigalcium element. Trigalcium element produce a lot of heat of hydration and we require uh, for low heat cement we require the less amount of heat of hydration so we will prefer most high percentage of c2s that is dicalcium silicate are being preferred for low heat cement okay rest to statement are correct that is test on cement paste to determine initial and final setting time are done at normal consistency condition and high early strength portland cement contains larger percentage of C3S because C3S are responsible for high early strength and lower percentage of c2s because c2s gives strength after one year Okay, so the correct option is B, that is 1 and 3. Twelfth question, chemically marble is known as, chemically the marble is known as calcareous rock, okay. And geologically marble is known as, geologically marble is known as metamorphic rock. Okay, so we have to memorize this, uh, that is chemically the marble is known as calcareous rock and geologically it is metamorphic rock. This is very important question. Fourteenth question. The proportion of charcoal, saltpeter and sulphur in gunpowder by weight are respectively. This proportion should be 15, 75 and 10. 15 in the gunpowder, 15 is of charcoal, 75 is of saltpeter and 10 is for sulphur. Okay. Fifteenth question. The most durable varnish is water varnish, spirit varnish, turpentine varnish and oil varnish. So in this most durable will be oil varnish. Oil varnish will be the most durable option in among these four. Sixteenth question, turpentile oil is used in paints as. 
टर्पेंटॉइल ऑयल इज यूज एज अ थिनर इन द पेंट टर्पेंटॉइल ऑयल इज यूज एज थिनर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस टर्पेंटाइल ऑयल इज यूज एज थिनर इन पेंट लिंस्ड ऑयल इज यूज एज वेहीकल इन पेंट ओके टर्पेंटाइल ऑयल एज थिनर एंड लिंस्ड ऑयल एज वेहीकल ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस एंड द पिगमेंट यूज इन द पेंट फॉर कोरोजिव रजिस्टेंस विल बी रेड लेड ओके दिस द पिगमेंट यूज इन पेंट फॉर कोरोजिव रजिस्टेंस रेड लेड इज यूज एज अ पिगमेंट इन पेंट फॉर कोरोजन रजिस्टेंस ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इट कॉमनली यूज थिनर इन लैक्वर पेंट इज एल्कोहल सेलोज पेंट इज इथाइल एसिटेड एंड ऑयल पेंट इट इज नेपथा विच ऑफ द विच इज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट so correct answer will be d that is all of the above in the thinner lacquer paint is alcohol okay commonly used thinner in lacquer paint is alcohol cellulose paint is ethyl acetate okay in the cellulose paint the thinner is ethyl acetate in the oil paint the thinner is naphtha always remember it 20th question a volatile substance added to paint to make its application easy and smooth is known as this is known as solvent okay this is the definition of solvent that is used in the paint in in this video usually there are more questions of the paint in the other videos all the other topics are being discussed the volatile substance added to paint to make its application easy and smooth this is the definition of solvent these are the volatile substances okay for the smoothness of the paint 21st question the commonly used drying oil for oil paint is drying oil always remember drying oil is acetate of lead okay these are being used in as a drying oil in the paint in the oil paint acetate of lead 22nd question oil varnish generally consist of oil varnish consist of resin oil and turpentine okay always remember it oil varnish consist of resin oil and turpentine while resins are used as used in varnishes obviously 24th question spirit varnish generally consists of we have to determine the component of spirit varnish okay so obviously oil cannot be a answer so it will be spirit and shellac okay obviously spirit will be used in the spirit varnish and the other component is shellac always remember it 25th question the most fire resistant paint are enamel paint aluminium paint asbestos paint and cement paint so the answer will be asbestos paints asbestos paint are most fire resistant paint okay so in this video we are discussing up to this up to 25th question after this we will come out with 50 question in the next video and afterwards like that only okay you may subscribe to this channel to stay updated and watch my videos the link for these pdfs and everything this will be available in the description box you can download it from the description box link thank you